Uh-huh. Bills and bills and bills. Don't we ever get anything around here but bills and hangar rents, equipment rent, the interest on the loans. The interest on the loan to pay the interest on the loan? <laughs> yeah, they've been doing a lot of that lately. <laughs> hey, look at this. Uh-huh. Check for $85. Finally, something good. Who's it from? Uh, us. From us. Us. Uh, oh, it must have been another one that bounced. Hi, Devin. Have I got something for you? Well, if it's another bill, forget it. Just the opposite. You've got a chance to land a government contract. Government contract? The last time I had a chance to one of these is when I got drafted. I'll handle that. I'm the president. It's a government mail contract. Oh, it's a new air route. It's open for competitive bidding. Well, how come I've never seen this before? You would have needed x-ray vision to see where Ronnie posted it. Oh, him? Oh, I ought to go over there and pop him and his weasel. Yeah, you're right. What? Well, you know, you took quite a chance coming over here with that, Becky. Well, you'd get in big trouble with Mrs. Crawford. No, you were entitled to read anything posted on the bulletin board. And even if you weren't, well, I just couldn't let Ronnie take unfair advantage of you. Gee, well, you didn't stay in a prayer now. What's the date we have to apply for that thing? I'll find a date, huh? I, I said, uh... Here, oh, yes, yes, yeah, sure, I got the date. Here, it's not later than noon of the 17th of, uh... Us uh, today. Yeah, today. No, oh, that's even noon. Gosh. Oh, well, we got three minutes. That's not much time. That's not much time. Come on, we gotta get going. We can do it. Uh, he doesn't know where to go, so I'll just... Mrs. Grover, this is the first time in all my years in the Postal Service that I've ever awarded a mail contract without a single competitive bid. That's quite understandable, Mr. Prentice. At Crawford Field, there simply is no competition. All right, then, if you'll just uh, sign this application, we'll check out your facilities first thing in the morning. Howl it! Howl it! Put down that bed! Dead! <laughs> Aren't you being a little bit premature? How do you do, sir? My name is Kenworth. I am Herbert T. Kenworth. I am the president of the AAA Airlines. This is my chief pilot, Spud. Uh, Captain Spud Barrett. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'd give you a business card if we had one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, he means if we had one with us. Now, uh, who do we see about the application? Is this an application? You've got a nerve barging in here. May I remind you this is a private office? May I remind you this is a public contract? Mr. Crawford, if AAA is a certified airlines, they have every right to make a bid. Well, of course they do. And I, for one, welcome the competition. I thought you'd pull a cheap one. <laughs> you do? <laughs> well, that's mighty big of you. Not at all. Any comparison with Crawford Airlines is bound to make the AAA look as up-to-date as uh, the Pony Express. Thank you. A lot of peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, we do a magnificent job with that, too, sir. And a cup of coffee with cream and sugar. Coffee with cream and sugar. Thank you very much. And bon appetit. Now, the thing for us to do is before those postal inspectors get here, we got to get the, the plane scrubbed down and we got to straighten up our counter in the terminal. Yeah, right. See, now, there's two real good ideas. Yes, sir. You know, that's why you're where you are and I'm where I am. <laughs> uh, be right with you, gentlemen. Let's see, he said coffee with cream and sugar. Oh, uh, Mr. Escoffier, uh, while you're at it, could you draw one for me and make it uh, cream, no sugar? Could you get that straight? What's to get right? You think I can't handle a simple order like that? I'll have a regular, Harry. Just sugar, no cream. Uh, sugar, no cream for you. Uh, coffee with, uh, with cream. Uh, that leaves the coffee with cream and sugar for you. Yeah, yeah, that's real good, Harry, except for one thing. <laughs> you blew it. <laughs> You can't even handle it with one extra man in here. What are you going to do if they let the mail contract and all of a sudden postmen from all over the country are converged on this terminal? He's right, Harry. He is right. And when he's right, he's right. That's why he's where he is. Why do you keep saying that? Where am I? You know, if I were you, I'd call the employment agency and get some more help in here. Well, I, I don't need any more help in here. I can handle this all by myself. You see, yours was with the uh, sugar and cream. Or was his with the cream and sugar. And you wanted it with Spud, can you tell me the number of that employment agency? Well, I know a girl who's out of work. Maybe. Good morning, and welcome to the Shea Skyway. Hi, Spud. Oh, hi. Boy, I sure am glad you got the job. Listen, I don't know how to thank you for helping me get it. 
Well, why don't you start by just taking his order? Just say nothing of mine. Oh, well, wouldn't you rather wait for Harry? He's just outside with the milkman. I'm not interested in Harry's social life. I came here for something to eat. I want a piece of apple pie and a cup of coffee. Yeah. I think I'll have the noodle soup and crackers. That's apple pie and crackers. No, that's soup. <laughs> apple soup and coffee. She related to Harry? I want a piece of apple pie and a cup of coffee. He wants a bowl of noodle soup and some crackers. Now, is that too difficult? No, not if you're a waitress. But this is my first day on the job, and I never did work like this before. And you come in and start yelling at me and make me all nervous? Very rude. Well, well, wait a minute. Gee, Gee Mitzi, he doing? didn't... Uh, you did, too. You oh, yelled yeah. at her. Oh, yeah. You That's yelled at her. Hi, what's yelling about? Oh, yeah. He didn't mean uh, it. He did, too. You meant it, see? She meant it. Get me again. I'll let get you her. have one. See, get Why should I give her my seat? I just got here. 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 Yeah, yeah, sit down. Right on. There you go. There you go. It's going to be all right. Now... Get her a cup of tea. A cup of tea? A cup of tea! Calm her nerves. What about my nerves? I came in here to get something to eat, and the next thing I know, I'm starting a whole new career as a waitress. Would you like milk or lemon? Milk. What's want some milk. What? Milk! The tea. There, now that's going to be better, isn't it? Thank you, yes. You know, I am going to be all right. Now, there, you see. You watch this. You come back and sit down. Can I go off duty now? There you go. First, I'll clean up this mess you made, okay? <laughs> now, apple pie and coffee and noodle soup and crackers, right? Yeah, right, right. You got it, see? Oh, good. I'll be right back. It's a little rough the first day, I mean, you know. I think we ought to give her a tip. What for? For sitting in my seat? Okay, here we go. The soup and your pie. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Look, hey, guys, you got Yeah, yeah, this is fine. This is real good. <laughs> Just, uh... Oh, thanks. I'll make up your check now, okay? Aren't you going to eat your soup? I don't want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's noodles, though. Wow. Sorry. Oh, sorry I didn't feed the bulldog. <laughs> Oh, she apologized. You don't have to cry like a baby. I cry like a baby. The baby is crying like a baby. The baby? Well, you see, this job came up so fast. I didn't have time to get a babysitter. So I asked Harry if I could bring Bill Kenny along. And he said it would be okay, provided he didn't cause any trouble. Well, well why would it be any trouble? <laughs> Adorable little thing like that. Coochie, coochie, coo. <laughs> you want to, uh, no. coochie, coo? Give her a foot. Coochie, coochie. Ow! That thumb's like a razor. I'm sorry. Well, well, you don't have to be sorry. You didn't bite him. Spud, Herbert, they're here. The postal inspectors. They're ready to check out your loading facility. No. I hope they don't check them too closely. Uh, you can leave a tip. Why should I leave a tip? I waited on her and a kid bit me. <laughs> Sure. Morning. Welcome to Crawford Airlines, gentlemen. The carrier that serves the West best. And welcome to AAA, the airline with a plane in the lane. Uh, rain. We gotta get one of those. Okay, come on. Let's get one. It's certainly nice to have the post office department here. Yeah. We use your stamps all the time. Yeah. <laughs> May we get down to business, please, gentlemen. The first thing that Mr. Henderson and I would like to see is the speed and efficiency of your respective airlines in loading a typical mail shipment. Mr. Prentice will time the operation inside the terminal and I shall clock the remainder of the procedures on the field. Good luck. Uh, I mean, may the better airline win. Don't worry, we will. Gentlemen, you may begin. Uh, Monday. No, that is a waste. Oh, we don't have the scale. <laughs> Weight, 72 pounds, 8 and 3 quarter ounces. Log it. Here you go. Uh, 234 pounds. Uh, boy, that'd be minus 158 for me. No, I had the corn flakes behind. 160. <laughs> 
nine. Seventy-four, even. Prolog it. Move it. of safety and of speed. Oh, that's the Crawford motto. Safety and speed are the reasons we lead. Oh, uh, well, when there's a race, we're in last place. <laughs> are you ready, gentlemen? Crawford is always ready. Triple A? Oh, Triple A, yes. Now, if you'll notice they're locked into this arrangement while well, we have our own independent fueling system. Go! Oh. also maintains an immaculate restroom. <laughs> uh, I was so busy thinking about fueling the plane, I forgot to fuel a fueler. <laughs> Ask him if we get credit for pumping 50 gallons a year. <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Crawford? Oh, yes, Mr. Henderson. Well, from what I've seen so far, you certainly run a tight airline. Thank you, Mr. Henderson. Now, if you'll just board the plane, my son will join you for the simulated mail flight. Yes, ma'am. This is it, Mom. The coup de grace. Had the champagne waiting in the office. And perhaps something a little stronger for Mr. Prentice. After all, the poor man will be checking out the AAA flight. Go. Now, 
Now, this is it. This is last chance, Bill. So far, you have single-handedly blown everything. Now, you have got to pull this off. Well, why me? I thought we were partners. We are. You do the flying, and I'll do the, the, the prey. Well, what do you got to worry about? All you got to do is take off, fly off 50 miles, make a U-turn, and come back. That's what I'm worried about. They're taking off and flying in the <laughs> Have you got everything? Yeah, I got everything. Don't worry. Have you got my air sick pills? I accept your air sick pills. I accept your air sick Are you trying to blow the contract? I need the pills. I'm getting queasy already. Well, they're in the chase. Well, get them. I'll get them. No! no! <laughs> Bye-bye. Hi. Hi. Herbert forgot his pills. Where's Harry? He's getting the car. I lost an inlay, I'm on with homemade biscuits, and he's rushing me to the dentist. Oh, that's bad. I wish there was something I could do. Oh, there is. Huh? Here, take little Kenny over to Becky and ask her to babysit for a couple of hours. Look, everything she needs is in there. There's a whole written list. Goodbye, Don. Mama love you. Yeah, but uh, Herbert... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mom, Mommy's gone. I gotta get going, too. Uh, Becky, uh, Mitzi wants you to... Uh, out to lunch. She's out to lunch. Oh, boy. What a time for a guy to have his first baby. <laughs> and just as soon as I'm absolutely convinced that they can get off the ground, I'm going to order a whole fleet of those Airbuses. That sounds fine, but don't you think we ought to concentrate on getting this one off the ground? Yeah. Give me. Hot stuff. Give me. Wait a minute. What is that? Uh, it's a, a little picnic lunch that Harry packed for us. They're trying to get a mail contract, and you're worried about feeding your fat little face? <laughs> Not exactly. We just did. Uh, don't, I'll put it in the cockpit out of the way. Uh, and don't you worry. We'll have you there and back before you can say neither rain nor sleet nor mail nor, nor hail nor uh, to, to, to how you played the game. That's all I have Right here, sir. Put it in there. There you go. Right here, Mr. Spencer. Sit right down. There you go. I'll uh, shut the door. We flew with it open once. We all got colds. <laughs> You can look. Don't tell me what to do. I'm the president. Then why does the president have to have this lunch wedged in here with him? Uh, well, uh, because i got to feed it. You've got to feed your lunch? <laughs> your lunch seems to be crying. Uh, well, uh... It's a baby lunch. It's a baby. What are you doing up here with us? <laughs> What's going on in there? You got trouble? Something wrong? No, 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 Tom. I'm uh, just trying to clear my ears from plugging up. I got... Ah! <laughs> I don't want to trouble an already troubled area, but could you explain to me what that kid is doing up here with us? <clears throat> yeah, uh, well, you see, Harry never could make a light biscuit, see? Well, now, Mitzi didn't know this. Well, when Becky was out to lunch, there was nothing I could do but bring the baby along. Oh, I've got to lie down. This is the biggest harebrained stunt you have ever pulled. Do you want to blow the mail contract with... Oh, is this any way to ruin an airline? Well, if it's any consolation, it is a male baby. <laughs> Can you burp? Well. <laughs> you the baby. Oh. Hold the wheel a minute. Hey, Gaga. Hey, Gaga. Hey, Gaga. I saw that in the movie. <laughs> so here, I'll try rocking her a little. Rock a bye, baby. <laughs> There, I think we got it. That was me. Oh. <laughs> Make a triangle. 
You want to give me a hand? Uh-huh. Which one would you like? Shouldn't you be starting your approach now? Any second now, Mr. Prentice. Don't worry, ever take the hand. Hand me the powder. <laughs> this isn't as hard as I thought it was. Huh? What's going on? I'm snow blinded. Help me. What is, is that who I think it is? What is going on? Oh, here? that's who I think it is. Yeah. Well, somebody hand me a towel that baby isn't plane trained yet. A baby? Isn't that a little bit unorthodox? Well, we didn't ask him about his religion. Yeah, maybe we'd better explain. Yeah, maybe you're right. Well, you see, Harry never could make a light biscuit. Well, Mitzi didn't know this, so when Becky was off duty... Don't worry, Mr. Prentice. If we get that mail contract, I'm going to put him in a box and send him to the dead letter office. A little pie in the nursery, please. <laughs> it works good now. Shouldn't you be making a descent to land? Oh, uh, we are. You can't be. You're going 200 miles an hour. We are? <laughs> we are. That's too fast. <laughs> Uh, I, can't, I can't pull the throttles up. Uh, oh, Kenny's pacifier stuck down in there. What are you going to do now? Yeah, what are you going to do? Uh, no, no. You, I know. I got it. It's easy. Good idea. What is it? Pass me the bottle. Pass him the bottle. Stop the bottle. I don't know what he's going to do about the baby. What are you going to do about us? Well, no, it's not good to let him cry like this. It's not good to go through a hangar at 200 miles an hour, is it? Well, now, wait a minute. Let me get him settled first. All right. Pass me the bottle. Pass me the bottle. Hold it's on. our only chance. She can only think of one thing at a time. Oh. Oops. Uh. Uh. The, uh, uh. These things happen. How are you? It's going to land. You gotta do something quick. Uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, just reach forward and turn the key off. Am I close? Yeah. There you go. There you go. See? Nothing to it. Here. I'll just glide her in. Well, five minutes late on the mail run. We're right on time for the beating. I don't know if that counts anything. <laughs> Don't you worry. He got special handling from the post office oh. department. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Speaking of the post office department, I see that the AAA is a little late on the simulated mail run. And we came in 15 minutes ahead of schedule. I guess that means we'll get the new contract, right? Mr. Crawford, speed is only one of the criteria used in awarding these new routes. The department places a very high value on adaptability and ingenuity. And quite frankly... This is the most ingenious pilot that I've ever flown with. It is? <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> Do you realize that he fed a baby, changed its diaper, rocked it back to sleep? And during all this, with his co-pilot temporarily blinded, he kept his aircraft absolutely on course. Oh, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. When they made this boy, they, they threw away the mold. What Mr. Prentice means is that anybody who can react as he did in an emergency can always be dependent upon to get the mail through. We'll see you inside. Wait, you mean they're going to... We're not going to get... Mother, aren't you going to do something? Of course, Ronald. You're fired as my son. <laughs> Come on, thank you. Now, don't you worry. Maybe she'll hire you back as a second cousin. <laughs> oh. 